What we're going to do now is we're going to do a Comic Life lesson. I'm going to show you the Comic Life software and how to input images and how to create comic books or graphic books for your classroom. Now this is great, simple software and it's a really wonderful way to take images from cameras or from movies you've made and make them into a book that then uh, it lives in your reading corner or your library or your classroom. All right, now here's the website. You're going to go to plask.com, P-L-A-S-Q.com, and we're going to look at Comic Life right here. You're going to go to our downloads, and you've got it for Mac, you have it for Windows, or in the iOS for an iPad. All right, it's $19.99 for an educational version of the program, and I think it's only $4.99 for the iPad. So, you're going to go and download your software. So now once you've downloaded it, you're going to have this file on your desktop. Now this is a Macintosh version, but I think it's going to be pretty much the same in Windows. In any case, you are going to drag on the Mac your program to your app folder, and it will launch for you. All right, now once you've gotten your program installed, you're going to just open up your program. You're going to get a blank template. Now at this point, you get some choices. You're going to be able to choose right over in the side of your screen what type of layout you want. And the different versions will have slightly different looks in their layouts, but it all works the same way. So let's say we're going to go with this. We're going to go with a brick layout. Just drag that over there, and it's going to put in these little panels in which you can put text and images. So here's my blank template. I'm going to get rid of this panel because it's nice, but we don't need it. And I'm going to drag this. I'm going to click this once. I see my handles, and I can reshape that. I can make it narrower if I want. Now in that panel I'm going to place a headline right there. And there's my text. I can type anything I want in there so I'm going to go and hopefully you're getting the sound effects. This has great sound effects in it. That's nice. It's not big enough. So I will click my bigger, and maybe even bigger, and bigger, and bigger, and bigger. So there, I've got it to size I can see it. But what's really fun is now we can go to these little blue handles and stretch it out. And listen to the sound effects. Alright. So actually, I'm going to even get rid of that panel. I'll click on the panel. It's gone. Now these panels I can stretch up to any size I want. Also kind of cool. Now in here I will place some images. Now to get an image in, I'm going to choose, I cho can choose something from my finder, from my iPhoto album, or I can capture an image here. First of all, let's just grab one from my folder. Now this is anything you've taken from a still camera or that you have on your hard drive. I'm going to drag this over, grab it, and I'll drop it in. You'll see the plus when it's arrived where it can be dropped. There you go. Now, you see the little handles? I can make it smaller. I can make it larger. I can grab it and move it around. All right. So I'll put these two kids in here. Just like that. Cool. Now, so we have an image in here, but the wonderful thing about comic books is the text bubbles. Let's add that. So now we have our title up here. We have one image that we've sized to a panel. Now let's have them say something. Down here you have all kinds of choices of text bubbles. We've got thought, we've got speaking. We'll put this up here. Now let's enter text into it. All right, so here I wrote, hi, I'm the director in here. But that's kind of small, so let's make that a little larger. I'll select it, and again, just like with our headline, we just click larger, 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 until it's the size we want. I can grab any one of these handles, and I can resize the text bubble. I can grab this little blue dot and move that so that he's saying it, or I can move it to his head as if he's thinking it, right there. All right. Hi, I'm the director. There we have that text. All right. Now I'll take another picture and I'll drop it in this next panel. 
And I'm going to make it a little smaller by grabbing the handles. And this time I'm going to actually change the size of the panel. So right in there I have to grab the double click right on the actual panel. Oops, sorry. There we go. Once. And I will make that smaller. And I will move these guys around. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Now I'm going to move the panel down. And I want to add some text to that too. Now that this time, instead of a heading or a bubble, I'm going to add some narrative text. Here we have a little text block right here. And I will put, these are my actors. Since actors basically look and act like this. There you go. And again, maybe we'll make this a little bit larger. I'll, double, I'll select the text by clicking, double-clicking. I'll pop it just a little bigger. Stretch it out. You see, this all works the same way, doesn't it? We just click, double-click to select, click a handle and drag. So, very simply, I'm going to drag and drop and delete if I want. I can drag the whole panel over here. I can stretch it out if I wish. I can double click on the image itself and get its handles and stretch that as well. I can grab inside the image and move it around. Here we go. Quick thought bubble. Every actor's motivation. How do I look? We grab the little blue. Oh, it's got to go up by his head, so there he is. Let's move this over, and we're good. Now, this is all fun, but let's make it look like it's drawn. So now that we've added our full page of image and some text, we can actually now filter the image and change the way it looks. This is fun. Kids will have a blast with this. I'm going to choose this image of the kids because you'll be able to see it well. I'm going to double click so I know I have that image. Then I'm going to go over to details. And I have styles. These are fun. We can make it look like a 70s newspaper. We can make it look like it's monotone. We can make it look like it's high contrast. We want to make a coloring book, maybe. And we can, I always like drawn. Like that. Uh, let me find something else. Paint. Let's try painted. I don't know why we're always getting this. It's not colorizing. There we go. So I've deselected colorize and now we have this kind of drawn look. So your, your books can look really cool. The kids can choose their filters. So what can we do with this? We can do phenomenal things. We can have kids write scenarios, film their scenarios. Then they can take that scenario, choose the image, and resequence them as a book. So they have to rethink about what is important in that, in that story. What are the moments that tell the story? They can re-engage in the text. What are the people saying? How do you take a still image and have it say the essential thing that a whole film shot might do in a film? Wonderful ways to let kids re-engage in a lesson, an activity, a piece of literature. So there we go. Uh, Comic Life, Plask.com. It's very inexpensive, and it's really useful in a classroom. It is also, um, you can actually input your own image as well. It'll, it'll work with your web camera. Those are things you can see as you explore the program. You can't hurt it. Just explore it. Have a blast.